Winchell Delano here along with Adam Trigg. We're doing an installment for Canoe and Kayak, giving you guys an update on rediscovering North America. The last time we spoke with you guys, we were at Grand Rapids, Manitoba. Uh, since then, we finished uh, Lake Winnipeg and did the short stretch of the Saskatchewan River uh, with the help of Manitoba Hydro onto Cedar Lake. Once we hit Cedar Lake, uh, Still a pretty big lake, not quite as big as Lake Winnipeg, but the cool things about Cedar Lake were the water started to get a lot clearer, the fishing started to pick up, which was really nice to see. Uh, we had about two days of being windbound or couldn't paddle because of the wind on Cedar Lake, which made it tough for us, especially because we were super excited to get to the Saskatchewan River. Finally made it to the Saskatchewan River after a couple days on Cedar Lake, paddled up that, and about three days into uh, the Saskatchewan, we hit La Pa. La Pa, I mean, at that point, the Saskatchewan River was like the Red River times two. It was pretty muddy. It uh, wasn't as sticky mud as the Red River was, but it was still pretty miserable. It was still pretty like thin, sandy mud. It wasn't great. So we got through that pretty quick. Uh, Alan Gibbs and La Pa helped us out though in between and put us up in a room and Felt pretty comfortable there for a day. We took a shortcut uh, from the Saskatchewan onto Lake, uh, Lake, Cumberland. Lake Cumberland. Lake Cumberland, there, yeah, Cumberland Lake. And uh, Cumberland Lake took us through a series of lakes until we got to the Sturgeon Weir, the river that took us upstream to this point. When we got to that last lake before the Sturgeon Weir, it was Namu Lake. The water clarity there was probably around 30 feet, so it was pretty cool to see that finally in Canada. We caught a bunch of fish, we stopped for lunch, got to do some swimming. <laughs> Whoa! Then we hit the Sturgeon Weir, which we are still standing next to at this time. Uh, from this point, we have in 20 miles, 22 miles, climbed about 100 feet of elevation. So it's been pretty steep and pretty fast, um, but been able to move a lot faster than what we thought we'd be able to. It's been beautiful. We've still been seeing bears. We've been seeing a lot of wildlife. Saw some wolves the other day. Uh, the other big thing that's finally made it is the bugs. We have had mosquitoes, no see black flies, fish flies. Uh, some of us haven't been that affected by it. Winchell, apparently very affected. Jared <laughs> cries about it daily uh, but other than the flies it's been pretty great the weather's been nice this is our first rainy gloomy day in probably two weeks so that's been pretty good for us we just want to say happy Father's Day to all the fathers out there especially ours uh, man I'd rattle through them if I could but uh, well no let me try so Steve Steve Patrick Greg Tom, you know, Tom, man, pretty easy actually for our crew. So happy Father's Day to everybody out there. Uh, thank you, Canoe and Kai, for continuing to follow us. Uh, Rediscover North America is our Facebook page. Rediscover NA is our blog. Check it out. And uh, we'll see you next time. Uh, we'll be about to portage 12 miles over the divide and head downstream. <laughs>